Hi, I'm John Williams, ready to take you on another accessible adventure in the Pacific Northwest. This time, it's an Eastern Oregon experience with a trip along two Oregon scenic byways that takes us back to the days of prospectors and pioneers. Just outside Baker City, we begin on the Elkhorn Scenic Byway in the Wallowa Whitman National Forest. We'll climb through the Elkhorn Mountains, take a trip to Anthony Lakes, then we'll hook up with the Blue Mountain Scenic Byway in the Umatilla National Forest. We'll end up back on I-84. Farms and ranches dot the landscape along the Powder River. Our first stop is the Powder River Recreation Area. Get close to nature on the south side of the river along this accessible trail. While we're here, I may as well try my luck for a rainbow trout. Or you may enjoy a picnic amongst the Ponderosa Pines. If you'd like to make your Eastern Oregon experience last for a few days, a short drive from the Powder River Recreation Area, it's the Union Creek Recreation Area, nestled next to Phillips Reservoir, providing water recreation, accessible camping, a large picnic area, and clean, accessible restrooms. There's even a snack stand near the boat launch you will see remnants of historic gold mining days, the Sumter Valley Railroad, the gold dredge at Sumter, further up the Elkhorn, the Ahi Diggings. You'll marvel how Chinese miners endured backbreaking work to achieve the seemingly impossible in search for gold. Before we leave the Elkhorn Scenic Byway and join up with the Blue Mountain Scenic Byway, we're going to take a little side trip to Anthony Lakes Recreation Area. Use this road in the summertime. In the winter, use the north entrance. There's winter skiing, a snow park for snowmobiles, summertime camping and hiking around several high mountain lakes. The campground is usually open after July 4th until early fall. Back on the Blue Mountain Scenic Byway, we meet up with the Northwest Trail Riders Association at Wynnum OHV Park. The road to the campground is a little primitive, and here in the campground and staging area, it's hard-packed gravel. There's 150 miles for riding out here. There are some restrictions, so be sure to check the U.S. Forest Service website. Other than that, let's go ride! A side-by-side -side is okay, as long as it's the legal 50 inches or less. Now, if you're looking for something a little more serene along the Blue Mountain Scenic Byway here in the Umatilla National Forest, there's remote camping and fishing. Or for our more mobile friends, take a hike on this short trail to elk viewing here at Bridge Creek Wildlife Area. It's not wheelchair accessible. Wildflowers are plentiful in the late spring and early summer. Or you may just want to soak up the scenery. Ever wonder why they call them the Blue Mountains? They look blue. I fell for that one too. There's something here for everyone. On your way back to I-84, stop in at Hepner. It's the gateway to the pioneer, homestead, and agricultural history of the region. If you'd like more information on any of these sites, just go to our websites, Wallowa Whitman National Forest or Umatilla National Forest. I'm John Williams, and I'll see you soon for another accessible adventure in the Pacific Northwest.
Hi, I'm John Williams, ready to take you on another accessible adventure in the Pacific Northwest. We're here in historic Baker City, Oregon. It's the starting point of my first visit to Hell's Canyon. Now, a jet boat tour or a rafting excursion can certainly be part of it, but Hell's Canyon is so much more. I'm excited to get started. Tank's full of gas and I'm ready to hit the trail. Uh, the Oregon Trail, that is. Heading out on the Hell's Canyon Scenic Byway just a few minutes from Baker City is the National Historic Oregon Trail Interpretive Center, commemorating the pioneers who began to settle here in the 1800s. Back on the byway, our next stop will be the Hell's Canyon Overlook. It's about a two hour drive. Along the way, we pass through Native American ancestral lands, cattle country, and historic towns. For an eagle's eye view, head up Forest Service Road 39 for a short drive to the Hell's Canyon Overlook. That's Hell's Canyon on both sides of the wild and scenic Snake River. And over there, across the canyon in Idaho, the Seven Devils Mountains. During the summer months, U.S. Forest Service personnel give interpretive talks and information. Sit among the pines for a picnic. Get some exercise along this paved trail and use the facilities before hitting the road. We're headed out to the Hell's Canyon Visitor Center and boat launch at the beginning of the designated wild and scenic river. There's a good chance you'll see a bighorn sheep, mule deer, or even a bear along the way. At the Visitor Center, learn the history of the dam, see the exhibits and talk with the folks from the U.S. Forest Service and Idaho Power Corporation who work together to manage this facility. The boat launch below the dam is a popular place to enter the wild section. Permit information is on the Wallowa Whitman National Forest website. Next, we're off to Pittsburgh Landing. It's about 30 miles by river, nearly 190 miles by car. Just out of Whitebird, we start our descent into Hell's Canyon. After 20 miles of breathtaking scenery, we arrive at Pittsburgh Landing, a well-known entry to the wild and scenic Snake River. There's a clean, accessible U.S. Forest Service campground. Nearby, you'll find Native American rock art. This is one of dozens of rock art etchings and paintings preserved in the canyon. No one seems to know exactly what story they tell, but estimates are that they go back thousands of years. Today, we're joining a U.S. Forest Service river ranger on his regular patrol. I'll board his jet boat from the launch just below the campground. There's no wheelchair accessible facilities here at Pittsburgh Landing. Other areas have accessible loading, but check with the individual jet boat operator to make sure they can accommodate your needs. Shooting through this magnificent canyon, the deepest in North America, you can visualize the alarm the early pioneers must have felt when they first laid eyes on it, and how if they could see us today, they would truly think it's magic. And just to think we do this for recreation. One of the most visited spots in the wild section of the river is the historic Kirkwood Ranch. It was a livestock ranch in the 30s. It's now operated by the Forest Service to welcome canyon visitors year round. It was not accessible in my wheelchair, but with a little help, I was able to see the ranch firsthand. Look into a jet boat tour or rafting experience. The U.S. Forest Service partners with many outfitters and guides in Hell's Canyon National Recreation Area. Well, that's it from the wild and scenic Snake River and Hell's Canyon. I'm John Williams. I'll see you real soon for another accessible adventure in the Pacific Northwest.